So the chain rule is one of the three differentiation techniques that we're going to learn in this section. And the chain rule allows you to differentiate functions of this form. So, in other words, composite functions. So, it allows you to differentiate things like y equals uh, e to the 3x squared plus 5, for example where you have this g of x, the 3x squared plus 5, within e to the x. Okay, The g of x has been placed into f. Or, as another example, something like uh, x cubed minus 3x plus 2 to the 5, where we have x cubed minus 3x plus 2 within x to the 5, the g of x within f of x, okay? Or, as a third and final example, you could have y equals sine of tan x, for example, okay? Where you've got tan x within sine x. So all three of these, you would use the chain rule in order to differentiate. So how do we do it, okay? So what we do is we make a substitution. So we allow u to be the g of x, the function within, OK? And so what that is as a result is that we have y is equal to f of u, OK? So if we've allowed the g of x inside to be u, I now have f of u, OK? Now, what we then want to do is differentiate each of those. So we differentiate the first one, the u equals g of x, with respect to x, and we would get g prime of x, Okay, the first derivative of g. Over here, if I differentiate f of u, I'm differentiating it with respect to u. So I get f prime of u. So that dy by dx... OK, is the product of these two things. Now, the reason why they're the product, this is one of those cases where um, the dy by dx uh, works in a similar way to a fraction. Now, it isn't essentially a fraction where you have dy over dx. Otherwise, you could just cancel the d's, OK? It's not a fraction in the strict sense of the term. It is a limit. So there are times when this limit definition, dy by dx, works as a fraction. And this is one of those cases. Because if I write dy by du times du by dx, it's kind of like the du's cancelling each other out. OK, this is a very, very wishy-washy way of explaining it. Uh, but at this stage, this is how we need to see it. This idea, effectively, that the du's would cancel each other out when you multiply these fractions, leaving you with dy by dx. So as a product, we have dy by du, the f prime u, and g prime x. I'm going to put the g prime of x at the front, and I'm going to have f prime of u, but remember that u was g of x. So this is what the chain rule will look like. Okay, And it looks particularly nasty to work with. It's not. Okay, and we're going to see um, that it's not in the coming videos.